I've got girls there. Me, me and Tor compare all the time. Look at that f***ing haircut. It's good, isn't it? Like a Thai haircut. Hiya, my name is Bob Spoo and I'm the chief instructor of the uh, Prior Peach Eye Camps here in Birmingham. Um, I'm doing a short series of videos uh, throughout the lockdown period which are going to go on my uh, new website and of course on the YouTube channel. And today we're going to look at fundamentals and basics. Um, one of the videos that you'll have seen on YouTube already covers some of the footwork and some of the fundamental techniques of Muay Thai. But today I'm going to talk specifically about the elbow is a close range technique used for cutting as well as a bludgeoning tool for knockouts. And we're gonna see a variety of different techniques taken from a beginner's perspective. So in terms of beginners, what does a beginner need? Well, they need good footwork, good position of the feet, okay? So I'm gonna take an orthodox stance, but obviously for left-handed people, we would have what's called a south pole stance. So reverse the instructions where necessary. So I'm in a south, I'm in a, an orthodox stance here, okay, which is my normal stance. And as you can see, moving up the body, I've got the rear heel raised. The weight is on the balls of the feet specifically, okay. And as I move up the body, the legs act as shock absorbers. The hips are more or less square onto the target, and there's a curve in the spine. It gives solidity and um, a, a balance really to the centre of the body. It gives it strength, okay. Um, this also allows the ribs to close down, which protects some of the internal organs like the liver and the spleen that lie under the rib cage here. The guard, finally, as we move up the body, the guard comes high and make sure it's deliberately high, protecting the eyebrows from here. I know some of you guys will have seen other boxers fight like this or guards like this. That's fine, but this is a default. This is for basics. If you've got a default setting, you can always go to a default setting when you need it. If you've never practiced going to a default, you won't have any, any recourse to be able to defend yourself when you come under pressure. That's why it's important to work through these basics. You can also see there's a slight curve in my wrist here, which gives solidity to the actual position of the guard. Uh, the, if the wrists are bent, they're weaker. If you're in this position here, it gives strength to the forearm, the flexors and extensors here, which means it's easier for clinch, easier for controlling guard, and easier for defending against elbows, as we'll see later on. So this is your guard position, your fundamental guard position. Now, as you move towards an opponent, as you close the gap towards the opponent, yeah, what happens is the feet start, the, the stance narrows. It doesn't go slimmer, it's a lateral movement, okay? So the foot moves slightly forward. And it does this for a number of reasons, okay? The main reason being it closes a gap down between you and the opponent to prevent knees, because they're gonna try and clinch you if they defend against the elbow, okay? And the other thing is we, it allows, to allows us to drive the hip forward and into the opponent. Remember, we, we strike with the hips essentially, okay? So the foot steps in, we lift the elbow high and we cut down. Now what I'm demonstrating at the moment, and we'll see other elbows later on, is a cutting downward elbow. And this cuts across the face like so. So I cut down to the right. And when I cut down to the left, you'll see my right hand comes to my head and a slight rotation of the left hip as I cut down. What you mustn't do is rotate the hip right in. This leaves you vulnerable to all sorts of attacks and it weakens the stance. Okay, and this, remember this is for novices and beginners. So we cut with the left like this and we cut with the right like so. You'll notice the position of the hand comes down the midline and the elbow goes no further than the width of the opponent's head. It doesn't need to go any further than that. This is wasted energy like so, okay? This is conservation of energy, and that's what you want to maintain. Muay Thai is all about conservation of energy, uh, 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 effectiveness by being efficient, okay? So these are short movements. So the, the exercise you would do, for example, on a bag would be pretty simple. You move close to the bag. This is really important, okay? We need to be close to the target in order to hit the target. We lift and cut. I can stop the bag there with my hand and then drop down again. So we can work these techniques like so, okay? So we're drawing the back leg in as we strike, 
making it solid and hitting the target on target. Okay, don't think of this as a bag, think of this as someone's head. This is quite a big head. If I saw somebody with a head this size, I'd probably think they were, well, I'm not gonna say where from, but anyway. Okay, so I move in, in, and then back to guard. And you'll see as I move away from the bag, the guard goes back to its normal default. As I move towards the bag, it rises as I cut. Okay, really important point, the closer you get to your target, the higher your guard, and the narrower your stance. Because ultimately, when we're doing clinch work, for example, the feet are almost parallel. Okay, almost parallel. But we'll look at that in another video.